Some weeks ago, I and Jankar Mahbub worked on an autonomous car project. The idea was to have an autonomous car that can move in virtual or software environment solving a puzzle or maze. Yes, we did it. Thanks to Jankar Mahbub brother. But I'm more of a hardware software mixed guy. In that project, he showed a software car and I'm replacing that software car with this robot car. I programmed it that way so that when this car runs, the robot runs. When it turns, that also turns. So the map will be on a computer and this little robot will follow the map in physical world. Let me show you how I made that robot. Don't forget to subscribe first. These are the components you need. This PCB, 4 motors and 4 wheels, 1 L298N motor driver to control the motors, 1 HC05 or HC05 Bluetooth module, an Arduino Nano, and that's it. For the body of this robot, I picked two pieces of PVC sheets. Of course, you can buy your own chassis, but PVC sheets are way cheaper. After making the cut, I placed the motors in place, added a L298N motor driver module to run those motors, connected them with wires. The circuit diagram is in video description. I took some more wires to control motors from Arduino and seal the upper part. I'm using this PCB module for this robot. I designed it online printed from PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the best PCB manufacturers. They supply cheap PCBs to all over the world. It took only 3 days for this to reach. Fast enough. Let's now talk about the PCB. So look at the finishing. The solder mask, the lines, it's as perfect as as it could be so you can connect an Arduino Nano here and a micro SD card reader I2C pins or I2C however you say it and here goes the Bluetooth module and there's the digital pins that are marked here you can also add another 7805 voltage regulator module and that's it okay then I connected the wheels and finish the body. It looks beautiful, isn't it? After that, I connected the Arduino to my PC and opened Arduino IDE and uploaded the Arduino program. So here it checks for byte data. Based on those data, it runs motors, thus making forward, backward, left, right motions. Congratulations, we have made a Bluetooth robot. But wait, our goal is to control this robot using Python program. For that, I needed to connect the Bluetooth module to my PC. I opened Device Manager, searched and added a new device with password. Default password is 1234 or 0000. By clicking on Device Properties, I got the port now. That's important for connectivity. Then I opened VS Code, my favorite editor for Python. Let's explain the code a bit. For this robot, we need two libraries, Pygame and PySerial. Pip install them if you don't have them installed. Then I read the images of car and the map. In here, it checks for white roads for four directions. And these are the conditions to determine which way the car would go. Jankar Mahbub made a video on that, so I'm not talking much about that. Here's the thing. Remember the Arduino code? In that, we specified to read byte data. So, after connecting to correct port and same word rate as Arduino, I'm sending byte data to the robot. If it receives F, it will go forward, L for left, R for right, and B for backward. So, that should be it. Now, if I run the Python code, I should see the robot moving based on the map.
let's now take it outside and make it run hmm not bad but it slips actually it would be industrial standard if we could add some sensors to determine its path or calculate the errors but so far so good thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe if you like this video thank you